gonna work the first couple problems on the worksheet to give you started. Uh, let's start with number one. Here we have nine to the minus two, nine to the minus two, which is equal to one over nine to the positive two, which is equal to one over 81. That's the answer for one. Um, number two, here we have 8 to the 2 thirds power. We're going to rewrite 8 as 2 to the 3, so 2 cubed to the 2 thirds. These, mul these exponents we multiply together, so we have 3 times 2 thirds, so you have 2 to the 3 times 2 thirds, which is equal to 2 to the six thirds, which is two squared, which is four. Number three, here I have 32 to the two fifths, and we're gonna rewrite 32 as two to the fifth. So we have two to the fifth to the two fifths, and again, these exponents we multiply together, so we have 2 to the 5 times 2 fifths, which is 2 to the 10 fifths, which is 2 squared, which again is 4. Number 4, we have 27 to the negative 1 third. which is equal to 1 over 27 to the 1 third, positive 1 third. And now we're going to rewrite 27 as 3 to the third power, 1 over 3 to the third to the 1 third. Here we multiply the exponents, 1 over 3 to the 3 thirds, which is equal to 1 over 3 to the first, which is 1 third. Number 5. Here I have 1 half to the negative 2 power, which is equal to 1 over 1 half to the positive 2 power, which is equal to 1 over 1 squared over 2 squared, which is equal to 1 over 1 fourth, which is equal. Now, how many fourths go into 1? Well, four of them. So that's the answer for 5. Number 6. I have negative 32 to the negative 3 fifths, which is the same as 1 over negative 32 to the positive 3 fifths, which is equal to 1 over now we're going to rewrite negative 32 as negative 2 to the fifth, 2 to the fifth, and we're raising that to the 3 fifths. Multiply, so we have 15 fifths, so 1 over negative 2 to the 15 fifths, which is 1 over negative 2 cubed, which is equal to 1 over negative 8, which is equal to negative 1 eighth. Okay, there's 6. 7. 7. Here I have 16 to the 1 half power. Which is equal to 
2 to the 4th to the 1 half power, which is equal to 2 to the 8 over 2. Oh, 4 over 2. Sorry about that. A little miscalculation. 4 over 2. which is equal to 2 squared, which is equal to 4. By the way, anything, anytime you see something to 1 half power, that's like the square root. So we could have gone right to here and gone square root of 16, which we all know is 4. And finally, number 8. 8, here we have 4 over 81 to the 3 halves. which is equal to 4 to the 3 halves over 81 to the 3 halves, which is equal to 2 squared to the 3 halves over 9 squared to the 3 halves. So that is 2 to the 6 halves over 9 to the 6 halves, which is equal to 2 cubed over 9 cubed, which is 8 over 729.